Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, TNT Dino, and my GHT. What up? Nothing, dude. So we are going to do... We have nothing for you, essentially. We are shooting from the effing hip tonight on this episode of the podcast. Yep. Something different. Normally, we come with a hot fire for y'all. Right? <laughs> Isn't that what we do, dude? Don't we come with a hot fire? <laughs> yeah, thank you so much I for guess. listening to our podcast. <laughs> it's going to be different. I guess, you know, yeah. uh, you know, we're on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, Crazy Town Media. He does Twitch stuff. Yeah, I'm on Twitch. Yeah, dude. So, uh... We were talking about uh, how... What were we talking about? We were talking about how it's amazing how in WWE or WWF, how you could just be a fat dude and you could wrestle. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Like I was saying that, like uh, I was talking about national nat- natural disasters, which was like two obese men. Yeah, and Jonas was going to bring up Abdul the Butcher. I don't remember this guy. I gotta look him up. He like look up a picture. I'm of looking him. him up right he now. He was a Abdul. very large black man. Abdul. And he had like a bunch of scars on his forehead from all the times he cut himself open, and he had like lots of. Wait. Oh my god. He had he had breasts. <laughs> he had lots of weights. Dude, he had breasts. Yeah. Yeah, dude. And he would like come out and he cut his head open, dude, and he'd cut he has scars on his head. Look at all the scars on his forehead. He has scars on his head. Yeah, dude. And like now everybody is like a fitness model. Ow. He has a lot of scars on his head. Yeah, dude, he has a lot of scars on his head. And he has breasts. Yeah. So yeah, that whoa, like that sh- wouldn't that. Oh, well, we're on the podcast, right? Yeah, we're on the podcast. All right, yeah, that shit wouldn't go over well today. Yeah, dude. Like, like if I like showed up to WB, be like, a good, they'd be like, <laughs> I think like the last like uh, out of shape wrestler I can remember that was like really really popular would be uh, Mick Foley. Yeah, but it was only because he was hardcore and would do like yeah. the hardcore guys don't have to be in shape. Because it isn't about, like, athleticism with them. Yeah, but then, like, that, it's not preaching body positivity, man. <laughs> yeah, there, there is definitely some, uh, there is not all walks of life being represented in WWE. Ain't right that the truth? You gotta be 27 or 24 with a six-pack. In order, yeah, <laughs> in order yeah, to yeah. You gotta be, like, a size zero if you're a female. Or you gotta cut your head open. Yeah, you just have breath. Really, it you you got to be willing to risk your life every time you go out there, or you have to be very fit and hot. Yo, that it's it that is nuts to me, man. That this man really made it big by cutting his head open. I I'm no, I feel like I'm moving away from like what the fuck was Vince McMahon doing, man? I, I don't know. This was like yeah, cut your head open, sure. Yeah, dude. Like oh, what you can't cut your. All, remember when they used to take chairs and literally just like baseball swing into someone else's fucking head? They don't do that anymore. No, they're not allowed to hit each other in the head anymore. And if they do, they Wait. do. They, they put the hands up and hit the hands. You're not allowed they, to hit each other. No, dude, know? because concussion. They would like. I mean, you watch some of that old stuff, dude, and like there yeah. was like The Rock and Mick Foley, Cactus Jack. Yeah. Dude, there was a match where The Rock was just like baseball swinging and hitting him in the head with a chair. I remember it. He kept getting back up. Yeah, dude. And he hit, like, like, ten, <laughs> hit like ten times, dude. He had to be concussed. <laughs> Dude, so Mick Foley was just like really crazy. He was like he used to do like the Japanese death matches. Yes, yes, yes. I do remember. Like that, that, that and that's where he got his he, the barbed wire and the fire and like dude, he would just be nuts. Did they stop at that because of the like the Chris Benoit thing? They uh, I'm assuming that, that they I think did. that may have had something to do with it because like, yeah, ask. like but uh, they when they when WWF went to PG13 instead of TVMA. Oh, did they? so That's that was why, that, that was the thing that they did? Mm-hmm. When did because they want uh quite a few years ago because they wanted to open up their audience to like a, a larger variety of people. Uh, Jones, we watched that Money. shit. We watched that shit as kids. <laughs> right. Oh, right. you mean as far as advertisers. I think I they said it was to open it up to a broader audience. As far as advertising. As far as advertising goes. <laughs> yeah, so now we can advertise Disney and ish like that yeah. because you're PG thirteen instead of rated R essentially. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, dude, it, it it's crazy to think that they used to swear and shit too. 
Oh, dude, I I saw a thing online the other day. It was like, like when John Cena came in, he was like super white boy thug. Like he came in with a headband, and like there was a thing of him like peeing on a grave, talking about how it was the Undertaker's, or and they showed him like over his shoulder peeing, yeah, and yeah, I'm like, yeah. that wouldn't. At least have brawn panties matches. Yeah, I've seen titties. I've seen a titty on wrestling at one point in my day. I yeah, know, dude. I know yeah. the cat pulled her titties out of the. Yeah, I was at the Royal Rumble 2000 when Mae Young pulled her titties out. Know, I, I saw the Mae Young titty. Yeah, I dude. I was, I was. I saw it in person. I couldn't wait. Dude. That was an 86 year old titty you saw in person. Oh, it was nice, dude. <laughs> I was so far away, dude. It was. Yeah, it was. It was. That's good. awesome that you were there for that. Though. Yeah, dude. It was. Uh, it Ugh. was. Pre- it was in Madison Square Garden in New York City. Dude, I, 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 I kind of have to say it's like I, I definitely agree that it should not be them hitting guys in the head with chairs. I now, saw that Chris Benoit documentary. Yeah, well, see, here's my I thing. Was like, I have always been a proponent that there should be a separate league that anything goes. Like, there should be a football league where they don't drug test and they don't test for steroids. And, they, and if you go in there... You sign a waiver saying that, like, anything you do is under your own conscience. You no liabilities, no nothing. If you want to go in there and roid up, dude, to the point where you were like, crazy man. You say that, but then people are going to go there because they can't make it in the real league and they're desperate. And right. And you start, no, what do you mean, right? Yeah, dude, you get I, you, We've done this so many times with you and the bum fights. No, I hate uh, that. I, I never oh, no, watch it. Ever. It wasn't the bum fights. You, oh, but it's it's different if bums want to do it, but if inmates want to do it. No, not inmates. I'm saying real people. I'm saying if if they <laughs> well, want inmates aren't real people. No, not people who are have freedom of choice because they're not criminals in jail. But, but you never know like what's going on in somebody's life, man. If somebody's desperate for money <laughs> and they feel like that's the only way they can do it. You they still got to be good at football. They yeah, still got to be good at baseball. Everybody is going to essentially be like, all right, I'm going to try to make the league. But if I don't make the league, I promise my mom I'll this. I promise my girlfriend this. Or I promise this to this yeah, person. But like, so but I guess I'll go into money. the Roid League and But they're not making the up. same money, though. The well, Roy- no shit, they're not making the same money, but all they know how to do is play football because that's all they've done their whole life. So they're like, I'll go to the Royal League, Royd League, and fuck myself and everybody else up, or myself for life. Yeah, but they it's their choice. <laughs> <laughs> it's their choice. I mean, dude, life's all about choices, man. I just say is that you cannot provide or, or facilitate that type of behavior. Dude. In, in a fucking movie, Jonas, great idea. Real life, a little fucked up. You're basically like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, it is. It's a little fucked up. Should we up. make that movie? Should we make Is that the business we should get into now? <laughs> the movie business? Dude, I'd make movies in a minute. <laughs> I'd be good at making movies, dude. You I'd make good be, ones. You don't even know your lenses. Yeah, but like, I don't need to like direct them. I just well, mean, like, how are you going to make them? With a director. You're going to make them with the director. Yeah, I'll be the producer and the screenwriter. Oh, okay. Well, no, okay. I can see that. Yeah, the write, director you, directs. You can write a screenplay. Yeah, dude. I can write a screenplay. Write one. We should I, both write a screenplay. I have always wanted to write one. It is very tedious. It is hard to write an entire story. Well, in well, screenplay, because you have to, it's the format is jacked. It's like yeah. EXT or ENT bedroom. So and so is on the bed. So it's like it's very strong. It's almost like you need some. It's like it's almost like you need to write what you want and let someone who's professional at it transcribe it to a screenplay form. Because it's for you to learn the screenplay form and write a screenplay at the same time. They're both very difficult tasks. It it, it kind of detours away. I feel from like the natural story writing meta as well because like if i'm writing just a story then i just write this story right exactly and book format is like the most common i guess but yeah i'm not writing a screenplay you can if you i have a I'm not doing that shit. i have a i have a i have a partially written book it's like i don't know it's a lot of words it's like it's it's tens of thousands of words i already have already written of this i have a, a very detailed outline for all the chapters there's 13 intertwining characters and it was meant to be written like a movie, but I didn't want to write a screenplay, so I started writing it as a book. And I haven't touched it in years. You wrote a book? I have. I mean, I've, I I do. I, I have wrote a book, I and this is a book. separate book. Yeah, but I, I, your other book is like about 
It's a technical manual for playing fantasy football. Yeah, and that that ain't that's not gonna draw me in. Yeah, <laughs> I'd read I'd read like your glossary. Yeah, yeah, and that's fine, dude. Uh, uh, but you wrote I had like a very niche audience. I did it just wrote, to prove it, that I could do it to myself. Is it fiction? You wrote a fiction book? Yes. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, yeah. Give me, give me a little, give me a little bit of your. Fiction it is about. Book. It, there is, um, there's 13 different characters. Wait, Woo! I think there might be more than that. Yeah. And they kind of, um, it's kind of like a putting oceans eleven to no. It's like rest. um, what it does, how it, how it started working is like, it starts out following two characters, and then. You, in the first chapter, it introduces you to them characters. They wanna... start doing something. They go somewhere. They bump into some people. Uh -huh. Then then it follows those characters for the next chapter. Then those guys go. I want to know structure. I want to know story. No, I'm not, I can't give it out, dude. I you... can't put it into the universe. It's all intertwining. You can't put out, put out the first chapter. That is the first chapter is meeting the first two characters. I was Who are the guys? Why are you? <laughs> no, dude, I, I don't want to. I don't want no structure. I, no. I thought you were going to share but, some but, of the but story. It's like one of those stories that like it kind of keeps evolving. It follows, and then and then as it keeps going through, they keep. Oh, I, 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 yeah, I, 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 yeah, yeah but I don't want to know structure. I want to know story. I want to know. Some, it's some a chaotic story. crime drama. Well, that, that's closer to actually telling me something, but. Yeah. Still a little bit on the fringe, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, well, I can't. Just I can't. tell me that it's about a guy named Captain Jack, and he has a wife who he hits, and he meets up with his partner who does heroin, and they meet like that. That would be. I'd be like, all right. Well, I mean, you basically told my story. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's. I mean, Captain Jack and heroin, dude. That was it. That was it, dude. It's called the heroin. You said Chronicles. it was a gritty crime drama. <laughs> I was thinking of gritty crimes. There's there's two guys that are the main characters, and they have a job they're supposed to do that is a criminal job. What do they gotta, what do they gotta do? Gummed up. What do they gotta do? And then, are they selling this is a drug deal going bad? No. There is there are some drugs in it. It's not human trafficking, is it, Jonas? Oh, that'd be a good idea, but no, no. it's not. That's not a good idea. That's not the business. We're not getting into human I don't trafficking. Want, I don't want that business. Oh, okay, dude. I, yeah, I don't know. Every no, time I bring like, up a business, you know, know <laughs> I have thought about like going back because what happens with this book yeah. is I started it when I was eighteen, and I wrote like three or four chapters of it. Okay, I didn't touch it for a long time. Yeah, fair. then about maybe like. A few years, quite a few years later, I brought it out, wrote a full outline, started pounding out chapters, dude. I got like, I think like sixteen chapters written, of like thirty some chapters. Um, then what happened was I got so detailed in the outline that like it's it wasn't fun to write talk anymore because I knew it. what happened. It, no, it's just like I knew what happened. It wasn't like I wasn't creating anymore. I had already created the story. So That's like why my, a lot of writers say it's just good to just sit down and just write and not actually even do all that outline bullshit. Well, the only reason I had to do that was because I have so many intertwining characters that I had to make sure it made sense. Because like I, I had an outline, and when I sat down to write it and I went through the outline, I realized there was major flaws about like, well, how would that person know? Like, yeah. how would this? How? So That's, then I had to rewrite it to like really think about how the characters could actually intertwine. Yeah. And uh, That's what proofreading's for. Yeah. But uh, but yeah. So, but then like then I like I lost like and then I have another story I started writing, that was just literally, it was literally no outline. Let my imagination go where it went, and it went. It started with a man who got fired from his job, and he went to the strip club, and the stripper told him that she knew about a. <laughs> Typical Jonas. Because he he only had <laughs> a few dollars left to his name. Mind. So he went to the strip club to get a lap dance, and the stripper knew about a I, what was a, was it a, a magic compass? It was a magic compass. Okay, I like magic. And, and told him where to go to find. She drew him a map on a napkin, and since he just got fired, he had nothing else to do. So he went to go find the magic compass, and it literally had. N I didn't even have that written down. And then, like as I'm going. Um, I'm the story is told in a first person, almost thought process sort of view, where like he's talking to himself oh, as so he's doing it, these it, things. It's you, yeah, essentially, and and then uh, the reader, and then uh, it it started to get really weird because I'm weird. Oh yeah, yeah. So like, I but he's imagine. found he would find things as he was going around, and like I have to keep a list of all the stuff he found because it's gonna all come back into play later. <laughs> Oh, Jonas, I didn't think you were the fiction writing type And of I have guy. another story that I wrote. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that 
it was. <laughs> keep, go, keep going. It's told. It 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 would. I I don't have a lot of it, mm-hmm. but it like uh, it jumps around from it like time travels. Yeah. Not like the people don't time travel, but it it follows all these different characters from different points in their life, uh-huh. and then. Uh, it's gonna like move through. Yeah. Okay. I, I like to start things and not finish them. Like I'm oh, called well, a that, jack of all trade, master of none. No, that's that's called human. Yeah. I believe that is, that is what we all do as human beings on this. Which land. one of those sounds the most interesting to you? Um, I I don't know, dude. I kind of like the one that was more from frame of mind, but I'm a firm believer in that things when they're just natural, organic, or organic content Jonas what about orgasmic content I like that too you're you're doing it um we I I did not realize that you were a uh, you were a uh, a fiction writer though I didn't I didn't think you had it in you to be honest I'm because you don't really I mean honestly you don't consume like any fictional media you don't read fiction you don't you don't watch television fiction at all I've, I've sat here and tried to watch a, t- a TV show with you before, and you had no interest in it. What show we watch? <laughs> the, the haunting one? <laughs> that was good, dude. I liked it. Ooh, you were done. You were done after the first dude, 30 it's, minutes. It's not my jam. I know. It Ghosts aren't your jam. my jam, dude. Oh, I could tell. You Body language is very strong, Jonas, and I'm an observant human being. I cannot help it. I do not I doubt would like that to you... watch another episode of that. I want to watch the whole thing. Yeah, maybe maybe if you're lucky, no, I'll we're sit not. down. <laughs> maybe you can have some show as a treat. <laughs> if you do really good on the podcast today, you can. We'll have a treat afterwards. I have written very very few things, but I definitely have written a little bit of fiction myself. Nice fan um, fiction. No, it no no, no, it's not fan fiction. It started out as a. Uh, it was like you got a, spin. a glass of whiskey there, by the way. It started out as a uh, like a spinoff of like some Don Quixote. Are you okay. familiar with that? I gener- kind of know about Don it. Don Quixote was like a uh, conquistador who had Alzheimer's disease. At least that is kind of what it. And he would see monsters in like everyday objects, and then he would feel like he would go and fight them. And he had like Sancho Panza, who was like his little companion, who would help him fight these monsters that he would see and i always thought that that was a very interesting idea it was uh it was used a lot in media back when we were kids they would right, always right. bring up don quixote or whatever so i looked it up read a little bit of don quixote i was like i could put a fucking spin on that but I, I, you know my mind jonas my mind always tends to go to the darker kind of stuff penises no jesus christ <laughs> so no i always go to like I want to, I want to like see some demon, some demonic shit. Yeah. And I want to see like some torture type of shit. Not, okay. not the, like, like real life, but like there was my, like a really fucked media, up scene in my that. book, dude. Yeah, I got some fucked up shit in there. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm, I did not realize you had it in you, Jonas. You should write, a, write a book. I, I should, br- I should bust the book out and finish it, and then go back and re, and rewrite. And it. There's an idea. Finish, finish what the fuck you started. Yeah, dude. I don't know. I do most of that. I would like to write. Uh, I would like to write music as well, but I don't know how to play an instrument. Yeah. I would like to write. Uh, I'm telling you, Jones, we get this fucking rap album jumping. You gotta come up with a hot beat, dude. Dude, I brought you a fucking beat. You didn't freaking do anything. I dude. couldn't. I couldn't get down with it, man. My, I swear my to brain God. doesn't work, dude. I swear to God, I'm about to just put the put the bars I got on this fucking podcast. I'll just I'll wrap it right now for you. If you don't think I am capable, I think you doubt my ability. I have no doubt I think my, you doubt my ability. I have, I, I have no doubt in my mind that you're good at, at no, rap. No, how do you think I'm good? Be, because you told me you used to rap in the day. I used to rap with disco. <laughs> I mean, then it must be good. <laughs> I used to rap with disco and did Vox. Did you guys rap about Fago and... Oh, you know, yes, we did, sir. Yeah, dude. No, but like... It got you, to the point where I had to write their lyrics for them. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I can see that. Yeah. Dude, why don't you why don't you write a full song and make parts, and I'll rap your lyrics. I don't just, truth be told, since we're just being so truthful about our little our little things, <laughs> Jonas, I have written 
a full song already. That bolt for us? Not for us. I ain't writing your shit for you. You come up with your own shit. I thought you said you're going to write, dude, and we're going <laughs> to rap, dude. I'm going to write your lyrics. I don't, I'm I not do good that? at it. I'm bad, dude. You are not bad at it. You just got to try. I got. I have, dude. It's hard. And I feel it's, harder, like, it's harder than I thought it would be. I feel like you've done some good stuff. I probably have. You it's are a, creative, feel, man. You've feel, written books, motherfucker. Most people ain't did that. You're a creative at heart. You can write I can. a fucking rap song. I need the right, the right beat, though. Get the fuck out of here. That is that is a crutch. All right? Mm -hmm. I'm, I am I haven't told you this in real life. You're here today. Yeah, dude. It's, it's a, a goddamn crutch. Hey, dude, I have those. A creative can write to anything. You can give me a rock beat right now. I'll write some sick fire. I'd probably be easier shit. to write. A, maybe I'm just intimidated by something new. <laughs> just I always think I'm garbage till I, till I do it. Well, then do it. Yeah, maybe I'll find a song. Maybe I I'll... don't. I don't know. You use the one we did. Oh, dude, that's hard. It is not. Do, hard. Do, do, do. It, you can do whatever you want. You could do like some motherfucking uh, the old dirty bastard type rap into it, and I'd be like, hell yeah, put that shit on there. We'd be big boy in fucking three stacks. I'll try this week. Are you really gonna try? I'll try this week. <laughs> Every day while. I'll, every day, I'll, every day. Send me the beat that you find I if will, you still look. No, no, or I'll we do, can I'll use, use the other. beat that you did. And every day this I week, I will. I didn't set did a, a beat though. What? I didn't did the beat. I just found it. I'll I'll set aside thirty minutes and try, <laughs> and we'll see how it goes. So. Maybe we'll have a song. All right, all right. You heard him here today, uh, yeah, folks. Dude, hurt, hurt that crazy, hurts. that crazy town rap track will be dropping this week. But no, <laughs> I will start working towards writing some lyrics. <laughs> it only takes. I'll, def I'll definitely give it a shot. I will sit down and like. You heard it here yeah, first. Yeah, dude. I, and once I put it on <laughs> film, yeah, it's fucking yeah, locked down. Dude, dude, it's like coronavirus, it dude. Shit, I'm done, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I'll give it a sh dude, I like I like being creative, especially with words. So, like, if I can, dude, and here's the thing, I think will happen. Oh, if I God. find, if once I find the flow and cadence I like, it'll be over. I'll be all about it. It's 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 coming up with that. It's yeah. coming up with that because it can be anything you want it to be, and you don't want to copy somebody else, but you don't want to like. I like switching it up too. I like I like as far as Caden. Caden's is my favorite thing to play with, so I <laughs> I, I enjoy <laughs> just switching it up. I, I, yeah, I can I do whatever Caden's I feel is natural for the song. You can sing in there if you want to, Jonas. It's it's your world, man. It's a blank canvas, brother. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Pain on that. I will end. definitely like Monday through Friday next week. I'll give it a solid thirty. Right, man. That'll give me two and a half hours throughout the week to try to figure something That's out. That's fine. Yeah. I, could, I could make something out uh, tonight. Yeah, all right. Good <laughs> deal. Am I ready tonight? You got something for that song? Uh, I think I do. I have to check. I have uh, I have voice notes and shit. So nice. I have to see. Nice, dude. I've got voice notes. I, you know, it, it's funny. Like, I don't know if I'm the only person that does this. Um, I started keeping voice notes of just like things I would hum in my head or like little beats I would make in my head when I was at work or whatever. Gotcha, gotcha. And uh, I would just like do a quick little beatbox or something into the old, the old phone. Yeah. <laughs> and I have shit from like 2016. Oh, nice, dude. And it just like every time I get a new phone or an update, I keep the same program. Yeah, and I, I feel have, you. have stuff from. I uh, sometimes I come up with really good wordplay. And I like that wordplay, and then it's hard for me to build on it. You know? Yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah. It, ta it, it takes effort, but, I mean. It's it's like, it's it, but I got to figure out, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, I got to figure out a consistent style that I want to use because I don't want to just be changing shit up a thousand times not? in the song. Do that. Song by song, yes. Nah. In the middle, like, you don't want to, like, just be like, like a, <laughs> like a Tourette's rapper. <laughs> I'm spitting like Snoop Dogg one minute, spitting like hey, Eminem another. Eminem did it in a whole fucking song and the shit blew up. That's true. Rap God. Yeah, dude. There you go. I can't rap fast, dude. I can't rap fast. 
<laughs> nah, dude, no, I'm not rapping fast. I can barely fucking keep my shit together. Like, as far as honestly, what it comes down to is like, I, I really enjoy writing. I'm definitely creative in that sense. But when it comes to performing, I can see myself fucking up. Like, if you put me in front of on stage in front of a see, bunch of people. See, and that's where I, I would f- excel, I think. I think I would fuck up. I love being in front of people, be even whatever. I like being in front of people, but I'm just like, I ain't going to perform. I don't perform good under pressure, man. Don't yeah. put me under pressure. I know, dude. We talked about doing the podcast live in front of people somewhere mm. before uh, before a pandemic. I would do it, but I would. I don't feel good under pressure. You know what would be awesome, I think? To do a... I to know. do a... Uh, I would like to do like a well obviously this is gonna be after pandemic's over. Like have like a night like at a place, like a, a bar, a coffee shop, or whatever, and do like and do kind of like a three set sort of deal where you do like have stand up co- comedy. Not just us, have other people involved. Yeah. Stand up comedy, improv, and our podcast. And you mix it all into like a B hour, like like an hour of people doing it, stand up, like say three people doing fifteen minute sets. Yeah. An hour of like improv or an improv game, something like kind of like a whose line is it anyway sort of game, mm-hmm. and then like our podcast for an hour and three different sections, and like in front of a live audience, we host and we MC in between the different things, and uh, it'd be like a show, like a like a cumulative show. Yeah, I mean, I like the idea. I'm yeah, gonna, I'm gonna be the supportive friend to say I like the idea. <laughs> it sounds like some shit somebody would drag me to, and I'd just be like, yeah, "Are you serious, man?" And then I would go there and I'd have a good time. Like the first time he took me to a drag show. It yeah, was, dude. <laughs> but honestly, if you ask me if I wanted to go to that, I'm gonna say no. Mm-hmm. But then, if you actually got me there, I imagine that the show that we would put on would be good. I'm not doing stand up either. Well, I would. We would have to find people to do stand up. We could participate. Oh, in, yeah, dude, exactly. So, but anyways, <laughs> we will continue this improvisation done? on part two of Is this done? Let's Do It Live. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, do it live. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Yeah, I uh, like that. Make that the name, too, yeah. dude. <laughs> yeah, I probably will call it F It, we'll do it live part one. Yeah, yeah exactly. And then it'll be part Just two. Just put like an asterisk, so yeah. it's like <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, all right, we'll be back on the next one. But uh, please make sure to like and subscribe on Crazy Town Media or Crazy Town Podcast on Spotify, iTunes. Uh, he does Twitch. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. TNT D-I-N-O on my G-H-T underscore Crazy Town. Twitch.tv. Heck yeah, for gentlemen. Uh, catch you on the next one. We are out.